Oh, you got them? Okay. I got them. Paul Skeens, like, what makes him the guy this year? Uh, you know, I, I hasten to put the guy on anybody, but what, what makes Paul an elite player in college baseball is kind of the way I look at it. Mm-hmm. Um, what makes Paul elite? You know, it, a lot of things, right? You got to first have a little bit of talent, mm-hmm. but, but then you got to understand the game. And you got to understand what makes you special every single day through work, your, your workouts, through your sleep, through your nutrition, through every aspect, through recovery. Um, and then waking up and understanding how to use your stuff to attack hitters. And, and I think that's what, you know, when, I guess I've said it a couple times today. You pour all that in a funnel, and that's kind of where Paul Skeens comes out. He, he gets all those. What do you like about working with him, and what are you looking forward to seeing out of him this year? Yeah, I mean, I, you know, it's like anybody, right? Anybody here, whether it be you, whoever, they love working with people who, who wake up every day and try to get better and who bring something to uh, not only the staff. You know, Paul Skeens brings things to me that, that I go, yeah, hey, man, I just got better being around Paul Skeens today. So anytime you're around anybody that in any form of, of light, people want to be around you, and that, that's, that's, that's Paul. How do you see the rest of the rotation kind of shaking out thus far and some of the candidates? Uh, yeah, you know, uh, I talked earlier today about, you know, we'll probably do things a little different here. Uh, rotation, don't know. Um, you know, Ty Floyd's throwing the ball exceptionally well. Had a, had a phenomenal fall, fall. Grant Taylor's throwing the ball well. Thatcher Hurd's throwing the ball well. Uh, Christian Little, uh, in our live um, sessions since we've been back, has thrown the ball extremely well. Um, you know, so we, we've had some guys, Blake Money, has had some good sessions since we've been back. Yeah, you know we're gonna we're gonna do things through a matchup system, and uh, yeah, all those guys are out there doing it. And you know if they're not starting, it, they're obviously gonna have a significant role in what we're doing. What's impressed you about that turnaround so far? Very, very uh, driven um, from the standpoint of like, man, his, his routine is his life. Um, it, it's impressive to watch. So he's. Obviously, we know he's got good stuff, um, but like like that side of it, it's different than what Paul's is, so to speak. But it's it's on that same kind of level. I love your shoes, but the question I need to ask you is, what made you decide to come to LSU? Uh, yeah, I, I talked about this earlier as well. Um, I think the biggest thing, you know, if I was going to leave college, I wanted to come back to a place that had some tradition, that had some history, um, that that had a you know phenomenal fan base like this that uh, wakes up every day in a a national title and chasing that is important Um, and and then I wanted I wasn't just going to come back and work for anybody Um, Jay has that right I mean he's the we wake up every day we both wake up every day I I believe a a thousand percent in my heart we wake up every day thinking what do we got to do to get a player better to get a recruit to get whatever it is to get to a national title doesn't mean you're going to get one but but it puts you in a position, you know, hopefully to get one. Every player we've interviewed has said this is like the closest team they've ever been a part of. Can you feel that? Oh, 100 percent. Yeah. To, you know, uh, I, yeah, I, I can go to great teams. I was a part of with in the big leagues to college to everything. And, and, and all the great ones you're around, the locker room's tight. And, and you definitely have that feeling here. I think Ty Floyd said at the banquet that you brought sleds to the pitching conditioning world. Can you elaborate on why or like what that oh, there, Yeah, there, you know, a lot of people think that's just busy work or punishment or whatever, but at the end of the day, there, there really is biomechanic science behind it. So, yeah, we, we, we just bring them. It, it does add an element of toughness, I think, to the player. It, they're not easy, um, but yet uh, the guys will tell you now, like if you <laughs> really get down to them, it, it's made them better. You know, they're, they're, but it, if it doesn't transfer, we, we don't do it. They, they, they were probably wondering if the sleds were going to transfer. They see it now. Is it the so, leg strength mainly, or is there anything uh, else to it? Yeah, they, they, yeah. I mean, we, we could get there's scaps, rhythm involved. There's glute medius, the hamstring, the core. Yeah, there's there's a lot. What interests you about biomechanics? Oh, it all interests me, right? But the biggest thing you look at in, is sequencing. You know, you, it, biomechanics give you sequence, you know, and, and everybody's sequence is going to be a little different. That's why you have to assess them in the weight room. What, does, what, what do you mean by when you say sequencing? Like I have an idea. About um, uh, yeah, like, you know, the front leg start or the back leg starts, the front leg hits, glove moves, 
chest moves, shoulder moves, elbow moves, wrist moves. Yeah. Okay. Some of these freshmen we've heard about, I think Chase Shores and Griffin Herring, and what do they bring to this team? And um, yeah. Yeah, they're, they're all going to have opportunity. Um, uh, and yeah, I think they bring they bring a different look, uh, and and they bring an ability to come in and, and help our team immediately. So, cool. Cool. Y'all good? Awesome. Yeah. Thanks. Got a roll.